All right, guys, welcome to Ruby MD Arena, episode 115. It's been a while since I've created a video, uh, uh, two weeks actually. So uh, here we are. I want to talk about some things before we get we start um, getting into gameplay, and that's the current state of the game. I just finished watching Porter's video, and that got me th thinking that I need to talk about this. We need to talk about this. Um, last patch, uh, the, the patch we just had, which is now a week old or so. Uh, maybe not a week, but it, it, it's getting there. Um, it is one of the worst patches we've ever had. Only three units got changed, I believe. If you give me a second, I can actually pull this up. All right, so unit ballot changes. I was right, only three. Sun Wukong got a slight um, buff to his HP. A pretty big, almost 10%. It's 9% attack um, buff. And an attack speed buff. When you add an attack uh, percentage and an attack speed buff together, it actually adds up a lot because he's doing a lot more damage per second now. A neon nerf, quote-unquote nerf, and a mercury black buff. Um, so, that's it. That's terrible. For one, the biggest problem in this game since her, her introduction almost a year ago is Neon Cat. These nerfs don't do anything. Like, seriously, how can a problem, uh, a card be this nerfed this many times and has not changed her effectiveness in the game? She has, she is still as broken as the day of her release minus the fact that she cannot push Ursa anymore. That's the only big change that, that actually has mattered in all of her changes is that she cannot push uh, Ursa anymore. She can she can't push anything and she can't get trapped in units because she now goes through through everything. They don't want her pushing things anymore. Um, Fox did not get nerf. Uh, Cinder, Shadow Blake, Jin. None of those cards have been touched yet. Uh, Cinder got a bu uh, nerf way back when, and it was really deserving, and that she's still one of the most played cards in the game because it really has not done much because her kit is just too strong. Um, so I really just don't enjoy playing this game like I used to. I, this is my favorite uh, what would, mobile game, you call it? Yeah, this is my favorite mobile game, but... I'm tired of these broken units. Like, they're not being fixed or addressed. How do you go a month and only fix or change three units? And that's because they're so busy making outfits, UI changes, uh, tower, tower skins. Like, focus on the units. and They're the problem. Stop releasing new cards when you can't even fix the, the old ones. So, I, I, I pretty much decided, and this is it, if Neon Cat and Fox, both of them, not one or the other, both of them, do not get nerfed, an actual meaningful nerf that makes a difference, no more of this lower their HP because she's already invincible, what does that matter? If both of them don't get fixed next patch, I, I'm quitting Amity Arena. I'm not like, make stop making content, I'm straight up quitting, not even playing on my own like I, I do every day. Just no more. I'm uninstalling. I'm done with with um, Amity Arena. I'm tired of this. I'm, I'm, I'm and I'm tired of my five aura cards being stopped by the two aura Neon Cat or the two aura or uh, um, at Legion Mines. That's not balanced. How does two aura completely defeat five aura? It just doesn't make sense. There's no balance in this game, or at least. At least there's the few unbalanced cards that ruin it for the rest of the cards. That's a better way to put it. There are many units that, I, I, that are balanced. Penny, 4 aura, not huge chip, not huge damage. If the enemy stands in it then, and adds it all up, it's going to do a lot of damage. But it, it's, not, it's not always going to happen. Uh, I think Neptune's great, 3 aura. Slap him down on, on enemy units, but you know, he'll, you'll get punished. That's balanced. Alright, so. Bumblebee! What are you doing 
Let's let's talk something about positives. They finally brought in um, league rewards or seasonal rewards. Oh, where am I gonna throw her? Right here. Oops, that was not good. She still hit. Ah, she still got. Um, Junior. Ooh, my tower just getting poked down. But luckily, I got John. He'll remedy this. Neon Cat's probably coming up next. Ah, that was close. Close. Alright. Let's just clean up. I think he should be able to finish her. Yeah, okay. Because Flint's not exactly the strongest, but... Level 10 Flint. A little bit of chip adds up. But yeah, another thing I noticed is everybody has almost been running Zhang Family and... Uh, baby, baby Nevermore Chick with... Um... Oh my god, I forgot her name. Uh, I want to say... Starts with an E. Her. Carmine, I believe. I'm just going to get Yang out of there. Ooh, Yang does not one-shot them. Children, please. Well, that that uh, white fang unit is actually gonna get ooh two hits in, three hits. Lock in. Right. That all that money that was really expensive on my end. Hey, be Okay, finally Penny had s some use. A lot of my units are still alive because... Oh, that's perfect. That's not perfect. Oh, they, ra they ran the other way because of the tower. But yeah, I've been seeing a lot of Zhang family and Nevermore chick. Maybe not always Carmine, in, 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 but... A lot of Nevermore Chicken and uh, Strong Family. I think I can check my match history. Oh, there's Zhang. Okay, not so much in the last two days. Have been seeing a crow come back though, and this was actually a good match. Uh, it happened an hour ago. Uh, this guy was using the Albane Brothers, and he was actually using it pretty well. He got a tower down because I spent a lot of a lot of aura on one side, and, he, and I did not expect the Albane Brothers. I didn't have anything to stop them because I used my AKs to stop a Ren because they're, they're pretty much the my AKs are pretty much the only like beefy cards that could stop with the Ren without dying. And he surprised me that they're playing um, the Albane Brothers right after. So my AK's already spent. I was kind of Neo? stuck in a bad spot. Uh, I gotta, I gotta use AK's. All right. Hopefully, laid that a little too far back. Hey, wait a minute. That's my combo. There's the Nevermore chick. Oh, that's too far to the right. Please don't hit. Oh, it is hitting Glinda too. Okay, just once, but still. Is he going to let me make contact? Ooh, that's kind of a waste of a skill. I believe... Oh, he's not even going to make it. 
I was going to say, I believe Bumblebee can punch him, knock him back, before he could swing. Because he has a slow animation. Neo, if you would. May as well. Nice, that was a waste of a Neo cat. I wanna use I wanna drop something. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> Neptune, don't just stand there. He was you were ah, he was really in range already, so I don't know why he didn't. Is this like a makeshift my deck? This is way too expensive, but whatever. All right, I was hoping that my gunship would target his gunship before targeting the tower, so that Children, please. so they're not just like defenseless getting shot behind the back. Uh, I don't want to waste a card just to rotate my John. Start pushing on the other side. Children, please. Okay. I think, yeah, that's game. You can't push hard enough. That was kind of... Like half my deck right there. With the um, with the meta cards added in with the uh, Nevermore Chick, Neon Cat. So I am liking the longer seasons just for the fact that, that we get rewards now. I wish the se seasons were shorter and got rewards, but they finally listened and gave us our reward, so I, I, I'm not going to complain. Uh, I got uh, 4,500 uh, trophies with the new season, and that's not with playing fame that much. That's just a mixture of fame and fun. But I, I want to see what happens when I play only fun. May as well. And the only reason I even play fame is because missions require it. So I'm, I, I'm not sure. I, I haven't checked. If the crates are related to Arena, once you get to Arena 10, that's the best crate you can get. Or if it's tied to what league you end up in. So if it's tied to the le league, then I have to play Fame and get to the highest possible league, pos highest possible league I can, so I can get the best rewards. Hmm. Don't want to use my skill and just. Two aura. Never miss a beat. Never miss a beat. Okay, now that's actually way more beneficial. That's okay. I don't I actually don't have to. John just barely made it. Next is going to be Neon Cat again, so I'm going to just throw that there. Take out as many of them as I can with Penny. Oh, that's perfect. That was a perfect Penny skill. And I got the, the, the Ruby. A Flint can take that, but that's not worth it just yet. I want to wait... Okay, her skill came out. Next is going to be either Weiss or Neon Cat. So yeah, even with that nerf, that she's that's nerf Neon Cat. She still came out with about a fourth of her HP. So there's no point in having an HP system where... 
you can potentially cure her and her effect early, but what's the point when her HP is so high? You never meet that. That's what bothers me with Neon Cat. What are these nerfs for? I couldn't kill her before the nerf. I can't kill her after the nerf. And that's with my best swarm card, the five AKs and a Glinda attacking. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Actually, no, that's not fine. He's getting a little too close for comfort. Another penny. That should take care of it. Actually, I gotta start putting cards on the left side. But now he can't force the Beowulf Alpha. Yeah, like that, exactly. And then get a tower, clutch tower. Yeah, that, that proves my point. The only people who ever kill a Neon Cat are the really heavy Swarm players like ba um, White Fang Squads and Baby Deathstalker Swarm. I think those are the only situations where you're going to be killing Neon Cat. Maybe Cinder players because she has a really high attack speed. So Cinder and, well, and Fox players, I guess. Fox has a, the highest attack speed in the game at... 0 0.5 uh, hits a second. Uh, hits a second. That just makes sense. 0 0.5 seconds a hit. So 3,500 trophies. They added a trophy buffer, but I don't remember how that works. Once I passed 3,300, or was it 3,300 or something that I, I become uh, uh, open to fight anyone? Children, please. Oh, I got one shot in. Uh, I I, I want to say I fought this person. Everybody's using that now. The baby Deathstalker. Uh, um, not Swarm, but just the single bit baby Deathstalkers. Oh, I almost got that tower. This is expensive as hell. But I have to. Oh, that didn't kill her. What? 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 Why the emerald? Stall? Two or stall? That ma that did make it so I only got one shot in. I might have gotten two shots if it wasn't for the emerald, but that was interesting. Children, please. That yeah, blocking with the uh, bumblebee that was expensive. Oh, I was hoping to save her. Just barely. Neo, if you would. Well, I got two shots in. She has nothing to bounce to. I gotta get them off the gunship. Yeah, that is a way too cost effective card. Even if it didn't attack my gunship, it just stalled long enough. You know what? That was a bad penny. I'll, I'll admit that one. That one was a bad penny. Neo, if you would. Okay, it's not. There's no chance for him to bounce the towers. Her. Oh, that's not. That's not good. I wait for her skill, dodge the skill, boom. I'm still slow though. I don't think I'm gonna get a single hit in. I need them to focus to the AK rather than the gunship. I need gunship alive as long as possible. Perfect!
Jeez, look at them. Look at him start away. Just let me just touch your tower, please. How? There! Oh my god! I've, I don't think I've ever been stalled uh, that hard uh, that long. Yeah, two, two aura and three aura cards are just way too powerful in this game. That's an another problem that I've been having, you know, that I've been talking about for the longest time is that this game favors lower, lower aura cards. You'll have a few, you have a few good high aura cards, but you can't make a full high aura card deck. It just doesn't work out. They, they, they don't back up their worth as much. I mean, you maxed out Beringle. Yeah, he's insane. But that's just a maxed out Beringle. The level 5 Beringle in this situation would, wouldn't be enough. He'd get torn apart. Uh, I don't like my starting hand. I, should, I probably should use gunship. Uh, actually, can I shoot this guy down? What are you two idiots doing? Let's move out. Uh, are all his cards ranged? Now that I'm looking at it. Ah, oh, what a save. That would have been sick, because Neptune would have froze the tower, which would have reset him to, to shoot Yang now, and then Yang would have been tanking, which would have allowed Neptune to freeze even longer, and that would have added up some major damage onto that tower, even if the both of them themselves don't hit very hard. Oh, perfect. I won't hit tower, but I'm, I'm still going to do some major damage to, to that Zhang, especially. He's the one that I'm worried about. He's not... Wow! He he didn't kill uh, Penny in two hits? That's... That says something. I'm just going to dodge that. How, how did I get reset to there? No. No, no point in playing anything right there. Okay, okay, that's worth. That's worth. That should take out, um, Yang, uh, not Yang, Ruby. Now that I think about it, Zhang family's gonna be coming up next. Or that. That's a much cheaper uh, alternative. There's the fox. He took a while to play it, but he played it. Alright, this time, get behind her. No. I'm gonna hold on to my plant. Wait until he gets closer. Or oh, the tower's gone, so now I can't play it closer. Oh, that's... That's beautiful right there. Could not have played that in any better spot. For me. Oh, I wanted an extra tower, but it was too high. All right, not bad today, not bad at all. Really good win streak. So, if you haven't already, go check out Porter's video. Uh, he talks about the state of the game, and yeah, actually. My shop is like the definition of, of some, some, some metas. It's got the Ilya, Neon Cat, the Fox, uh, uh, Bringo if he's maxed out. Not even maxed out. Level 7 Bringo, which is almost maxed out, is also crazy. 
Um, yeah, so four of those cards are like really, really high tier. Uh, so that's one hell of a, of a shop. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave your thoughts in the comments, especially your state of the, of the state of the game. What do you guys think of the last update, the patch notes, the, the three card change? Just your your thoughts on where the game is. Where do you want the game? And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.